Let's start with the EU because they have moved closer to passing one of the world's first laws governing artificial intelligence after its main legislative body approved a draft legislation that includes a ban on police use of live facial recognition technology in public places. The European Parliament approved rules aimed at setting a global standard for the technology, which encompasses everything from automated medical diagnoses to some types of drone AI generated videos known as deepfakes and bots such as ChatGPT. Well, let's get more on this and speak to the independent tech analyst Stephanie Hare, who joins me now. Hi, Stephanie. Good to see you. So what kind of guardrails is this legislation trying to lay down for AI developers? It's massive. I don't think we can underestimate the importance of this landmark piece of legislation, which it must be said today was just the first step. They've got a few more to go. Um, we'd expect to see this passed by the end of the year, and then there'd be a two-year grace period. So those AI developers you just mentioned will have plenty of time to get up to speed. So what do they need to get up to speed with? That is the devil is in the detail, as always. The really big one is going to be about the police use of things like real-time biometric identification, what most of us are thinking of as facial recognition technology. That could still see some pushback in the discussions that have to come now in what's called the tri trialogue, the trialogue with the European Parliament, the European Commission, and the, Co the Council of Ministers. So that still has to happen. We might see some carve-outs for that in terms of terrorism, other forms of law enforcement, where you might still want to be able to use facial recognition for law enforcement. That said, they're getting rid of things, banning things like emotion detection, which is a really 19th century approach to reading people's emotions and trying to figure things about them using machine. It's a pseudoscience, but for some reason, people still build it and sell it because people will buy almost anything until they're told that they can't. Uh, and we don't want the police using it because it's completely discredited. So that's going to be banned. Good news. Um, and a bunch of other things as well that you were just discussing, like certain drones, deep fakes, which are ways of manipulating footage. So it looks like somebody has said or done something that they haven't. Very dangerous for elections, a real threat to democracy. So there's a lot in there for us to unpack. It's going to have a massive impact even on people and companies and governments outside the European Union. So how broad do you think the impact will be, um, given that, as you say, this is in, within the EU, um, already we're going to have developers looking at what they're doing, but there's also a lot of existing technology, of course, in place when it comes to AI. I think it's going to be really seismic. Um, we almost can't anticipate it. The only precedent we really have is how the General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, came into place in 2018 and forced all sorts of companies, again, including ones outside the EU, to change a lot of their practices and operations because they had to basically fall in line with EU law, even in their global operations. It just gets so tricky with these cross-border data transfers. It's just easier to follow the EU standard. We may see something similar with this. The other interesting thing is that the EU is just the first of any institution in the world to even get a march on this. The United States is nowhere near regulating AI. Here in the Europe, or here in the, the United Kingdom, where I'm talking to you from, again, lots of chats about AI, not a chance that we will regulate it for years, if ever, despite the fact that we're having a global forum on it in the autumn. That's just talk. The EU is about action that's going to be enforced. It will lead to potential lawsuits. It will lead to companies being fined. It's going to be a really big deal. So watch that space closely if you're looking to see the, sh the future and shape of AI regulation around the world.